Hi, I'm Jeff Pullen, an architect with Red Hat Consulting. And I'm Bloody Agoli. I'm a consultant with Red Hat Consulting. So people often ask me, how do I deploy OpenShift on-premises and in the cloud? And when you start looking at that, I always recommend multiple clusters. So we're going to have one cluster located on-premises and one in the cloud in this situation with our example here on the board. So how does that fundamentally work? What do we need to do to implement that? So in order to have multiple clusters, one of the things we have to consider is where our images will live. By default, OpenShift comes with an integrated registry, and that registry will hold those images and the different tags associated with them. So for this process, the main goal for us is to get that image out of our on-premise registry and push it into the cloud. So let's dig deeper on how that works. <clears throat> we have an integrated registry, as you mentioned, in each of our uh, clusters. Um, in our dev test and UAT environment, um, the integrated registry has image streams. And each image stream is where each of those images is stored uh, for every one of those projects. So we have our dev test and UAT projects. What does this look like in a pipeline? A developer commits their code. Uh, an image is built from that code. It is tagged um, in that image stream with a specific name. And then that application using that image is deployed in our dev project. Does that process repeat in the test, or is it different? Um, it is slightly different. Once we tag that image, there's only one image. We do not have a second copy of that. We only tag that with a new tag referring to the test and our UAT um, promotions. So we don't have to rebuild that image. We don't have to rebuild the image. What about UAT? So once, once we're ready to um, take our image from UAT into our production clusters, um, we'll use a, t a tool like Scopio. And if you haven't heard of Scopio, it's a tool that is purpose-built for moving images across clusters. Uh, and you can tag them, move them, and you can also assign them as well. So once we are ready to do that, we'll use Scopio to copy that image into the integrated registries of each of those clusters, being on-premise, in the cloud. Uh, and really, it doesn't matter how many uh, clusters you have. You can, still, you can still utilize that tool. So if you already have an, a registry, such as Quay, then this process is changed a little bit. We still use the same tagging, but we may not need to necessarily push that image to multiple registries. So for us that don't know, can you tell us a little bit more about Quay? So Quay is a central repository for our images, but it also offers additional features such as geo-replication, high availability, and some security and automation. So would you say that the process changes uh, at all using Quay instead of our integrated registry? the process is very similar, minus the need to necessarily copy that image to the different registries. So what you're saying is we can use Quay, store our images there, and then just pull from that repository and deploy those images in our production clusters. Correct, and appropriately tag those images so we know where and which project that should be deployed in. Say somebody wanted help implementing a solution such as this, where you have multiple clusters in multiple cloud environments, who can they reach out to? So you can reach out to your Red Hat account executive or go to redhat.com forward slash services to find out how we can help. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.